you know, which is c- kind of like a big brother to all of us in the band. You understand? Yes. And Officer Rich is like a big brother to us. So, you know, really, really look up to certain people, you know, because even pretty was an older person to be when I first come into business, when I first start the tournament thing. Yes. In, yes. in a certain business, you know, pretty and that man that was being a man to be. So I look up to them man there. They man that teach me holy, learn not from the older ones, you know. And <laughs> we don't have the pleasure to work with some man through the years, man like David Dobson, man like Sparrow Martin, them kind of man there, was part of my growing up too, you know, the man that was, the man that was big man to me, and the man that showed me the ropes, you know, the music thing, and we get for the only for work with man like uh, Eric Donaldson, Buddy Lee. Way back. You know, they are carry act. Get for the only for work with them kind of man. So, you know, it's just, as I say, inspiration is a key thing. And the people that just around you that inspire you is a very important part of your of your life, you know. So, I just give thanks to that man that's still when you're growing up and, you know, you don't know. The world continues, you know? There you go. And, and as, as the media said, as I said, we're talking to the source people, listen to WMPG Caribbean Flavor, and um, the source is here, Sir Cat Court, and um, the media said that you would press your solo debut album, the Upcoming Rebel. As I said, I don't believe everything oh, what the media said. The media said... I didn't he, hear that. The media said you have a solo debut um, album called Upcoming, Uptown Rebel. Yes, that's true. That's true. All right, well, we can believe yeah. somebody said something that the media said. What was that like? Was it something you, just, you wanted to do, like, on your own, just, to, just for the sake of it? Yeah, it was just an expression. It was just me just wanting to do something for my own self, a different expression, you know. Um, it's still, to be honest with you, it's still part of the whole third world thing, because you don't know people associate you with third world, so... Even though you do your own thing or you do your own album, you're still associated with third world. People still see you as a third world person. So, you know, the solo album is just an extension of what we do. And, uh, you know, I, I appreciate very much being able to do my own solo album. That was something special to me, you know. And um, right now, some people like Tommy Bloomfield, Ian Levy, them man that helped me to do that because they funded that project, you know. They funded me to do that project, so I was able to pay people like Dean Fraser, you know, and um, and Nadine Sutherland and Chevelle Franklin, all the people that were on that album with me. I was able to afford to do that. That was a special thing for me, so I give no thanks for that also. That's very blessed. I, I, I spoke to Nadine Sutherland um, uh, a couple of weeks ago back on uh, Facebook and Bonnie Ruggs. Uh, not Bonnie Rugs, um, Dean Fraser. I had the opportunity to sit down and talk to Dean Fraser because they were here. And um, is there anybody else you guys, you the band, or uh, even you would like to, to, to collaborate with, even if the person is deceased? And, and it's just a, 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 a big question. You know what I'm saying? We'd like to collaborate with, like, just, just to have the experience and the enjoyment of it that is maybe deceased or, 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 or maybe still alive right now. Well, I'll tell you something right now. The, the, the... The project that's going on right now is the new Third World album, and it's being produced by Damian Marley and Stephen Marley. So, really? that there, that in itself is something special because you don't know, especially Damian, the man that grew in my house. So, you know, for me to be able to, to hang out with him now and to, to do music with him and all of that is very special and very, very, very important to what is going on, you know? So we give enough thanks for that, and um, I'm hoping that we'll have some collaboration on this project, you know. I, I would like to have Shaggy on it, you know. I would like to have possibly somebody like Kabaka Pyramid, you know. Do I know the big guns, man? Those are some big yeah, guns, whatever, reggae, you know, words, you know, sometimes you don't even know what may happen, but you just hope for the best, and you look towards positivity, and you look towards top people. And sometimes it will just come true for you. And you can't just go and do what I do. Nothing you know what but I mean? the best. Nothing but the best, right? Absolutely. 
and, 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 and I'm going to ask you this question right here, because, you know, reggae music, um, hardcore reggae music have been foundational, Jamaica music coming up and all that stuff. Have you seen any changes that the music start evolving to something different? Because you started from way back, and you, if there's a change, I know you would, would see it. Is there any changes you see? There's not much band right now, or there's just everybody being, as I heard, I'm just repeating what people said, that everybody being selfish right now and just trying to do their own thing and not forming a band. But I just seen the reggae, the reggae band in Jamaica start just kind of water down a little bit, nobody trying to form a band, everybody trying to do their own thing. Have you seen the, the involvement in reggae music where band is concerned? Well, I'm not so sure about that because you have some bands out there right now that are doing very well. You have some bands like New Kingston, Raging Fire. Big band. New Kingston, you big know, band. Have, yeah, man, you have some bands, Roots Underground. You know, plus you have a lot of um, American reggae bands. You have bands like Soldiers, Tribal Seeds, all them kind of bands. So, to be honest with you, a lot of it, a lot of people trying to do their own thing, I agree, but you still have a lot of men who come together and, 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 and do bands, you know, and, and, and set up bands. So, you know, it's not really fair if you just say that everybody's trying to just do their own thing and you don't know, have any more bands around the place and all of that. You know, what can you do? You have, you have a set of men who really still giving themselves and giving themselves to unity. You know, to be unified with them brethren and play music. You have quite a few bands like that. So, it's all good, my brother. It's all good. There you go. I know you're a busy man still, but um, I, 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 I'm going to ask, tell you, the people that listen right now, and I'm going to give you the opportunity to tell people and why they should come out in May to listen to one of the greatest bands um, in the reggae business right now, people. Listen to this guy right here. Tell them why they're supposed to come out of their house to come and have a good enjoyment. You, you are the one that's going to be there. You are the one that's going to deliver whatever you guys are going to deliver. And I know I will be there. Talk to the people, brother. Talk to the people. Tell them why they should come out of their house that day. Well, you need to come out of their house and support the reggae music. You need to come out and hear a great band, a band that is known to perform well. Performing is a key to turn world. And we have always been good performers. So you need to come out. You need to support the thing, you know, get the vibration. And, and come and have a good time and hear some great reggae music and, and spread some love and joy. You know, because that's what we intend to do. There you go, people. You're here. And they're going to be here. As to tomorrow, we're going to be like a month from now. They're, they're going to be here, people. So you, we, we're going to come out and support this band right here. All right, brother. Thank you for calling. Yo, don't hang up on the phone. Thank you for calling. And I'm much love and respect. And I, and I know I'm going to talk to you again before you guys get here. All right? All right, give thanks. I will see you. If, if not, we'll see you when we get there. I will see you, my brother. Hold on, don't hang up, my brother. Uh. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yeah, bless you, my brother. You know you're a busy man, you know, so thank you for calling me, right?